All right. Um, well, hello everyone. Um, it's your boy Chris Rush coming to you this. Well, right now it's morning for me. I don't know when you're watching this. Good afternoon, good night, whatever this is for you. But um, coming to you regarding the celebrity prayer wall and prayer wall this couple weeks, just to be focused on a couple or three individuals that I feel like the Lord has been putting on my heart. Um, so. Uh, hopefully you saw the the celebrity prayer wall video that kind of gave you an introduction with how the Lord's been speaking to me on how we need to be praying for the ones who you know um, have um, influence in the nations and pe a lot of people following them and celebrities and things like that because um, not only for their salvation which is huge you know even if um, but also for those who are following them in the testimony of Jesus. The Lord is definitely going to bring a, a revival in the Hollywood and that arena. Uh, there's no, there's no escaping Jesus. Um, one thing I like even about, um, even just how God's moving through. Um, oh my goodness, um, Tim Tebow, you know, and and you know, all of a sudden you just hear about God and Jesus and John three sixteen on, and you know, on um, National Football League. I mean, there's no stopping God. He's going to get everywhere. And so part of it is praying it in and um, and praying it in and believing the Lord for it and releasing his spirit. So this week, we're going to be focused on three individuals. I hope that's not too many, but we got two weeks to do this. Um, first one is target number one is this man, Kanye West. Um, hopefully all of us know who he is. Well, not hopefully, but I definitely. I used to be a big fan of Kanye West's music. Um, when he first came out and um, definitely kind of stopped listening to it after I became a real believer. Um, he is a person, I don't really have a bio for him, but he's an artist that came out. And one of the big things that he did when he came out, he created a song called um, Jesus Walks, that which is pretty, pretty, you know, okay song um, talking about just Jesus and, 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 and other things. But... Um, it was pretty amazing to see somebody come out um, with a song called Jesus Walks who was secular and he really, you know, um, he really uh, was passionate about it at the time. Well, I'll tell you what, the fruit of him actually walking with Jesus now is not really evident. <laughs> I mean, he, he really idolizes um, Jay-Z and, and, um, and the music that he's doing is definitely not um, glorifying God at all. Um, but I definitely believe that he has some type of roots in that and um, you know he has definitely some um, some foundational so the reason I want to focus on him is um, just I think there's a door open there that the Jesus can um, break in um, that he just needs his voice so let's just pray for Kanye West and we'll be praying that um, the Lord be speaking to him clearly Lord break in with dreams dreams and visions that he will repent um, we're asking again that the Lord would convict him of sin, um, that he wouldn't be double-minded um, in his ways and, and even thinking that he's okay with God, yet his lifestyle is against God, but he kind of knows Jesus and all of that, but that he would be convicted of that and turn from that and bring real repentance to the hip-hop community. Um, he's a, he's a, a major hitter in the hip-hop world, so if he comes to the Lord and changes his music, I mean, it's going to be known. So let's just um, intercede for this man. And, um, and pray that the Lord do mighty wonders um, through him and totally just change his heart. And he's radical enough. If he gets for Jesus, he's not going to care what people think. He, <laughs> he's just not going to care. But he needs an encounter with God and, and the love of money to be broken and any other stronghold. So, all right, Kanye West. All right, I'm going to fly through some of these now. Um, next person is Jessica Simpson. Um, she is a pop star singer maybe an actress I don't you know that's not wasn't a huge fan of her or anything but definitely knew of her and all that um, but what I do know I one day years ago I was watching some type of bio about her and she actually was a Christian singer um, and she wanted to be on a Christian label but for some reason um, they they said that you know whatever label didn't give her a chance so the, the secular world picked her up and um, she blew up from there um, so she definitely claimed outwardly that she was a Christian and all that. Um, obviously, again, like Kanye West, the fruit of it doesn't really show the representation of, you know, holiness and obedience to the Word of God. And um, it's not there. 
Um, and so we, and I had a dream about her last week. You can see the other video, not last week, weeks ago. Um, so this, to pray for her as well, that the Lord will come through and um, um, convict her and her family of, of, of unrighteousness and, 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 the, and they will see the love of Jesus through um, his forgiveness. Um, let's pray that, um, um, you know, that God would just encounter her and that she would be boldly, unashamedly, um, you know, repent. She would show the fruit of repentance. And so that's Jessica Simpson. All right. So let's be praying for Jessica Simpson. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, next person this week I got is, <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty big guy. I haven't even, I only heard one of his songs, but um, Justin Bieber. There you go. All right, look at that smile. Um, Justin Bieber obviously is a pop song. I shouldn't say obviously, there's a lot of you Nazarites out there who don't listen, watch TV or listen to secular music at all. So you may not know who this guy is, but he's a, he's a singer, pop star, teeny bopper thing. Um, he, you know, when I hear about people talk about him, um, he has a testimony that his mom's a Christian and he's a Christian, and you know, I think he gives, you know, praise to Jesus and that um, he um, confesses him as Lord. Um, again, you know, um, is his lifestyle totally showing that? You know, some people say, well, Chris, he's not, you know, slapping girls' butts and having sex everywhere, and he's, uh, he may be a virgin or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but. When you make music, um, when you're a musician, you don't make music about God, really. I, I question that, like, okay. But when you love Jesus, you should probably, the fruit of that would probably be you sing for him. But um, also just making music with ungodly people, like Ludacris and um, probably tons of other hip hop people and um, just secular people who don't love God. And that obviously, you have to be really, really strong in God. Um, to enter the, into his industry and have success and not compromise. Uh, so I believe there's some compromise going on. Um, and and so we just want to pray that God would break through that, that he wouldn't be deceived to think that he's actually, um, you know, living out God's calling on his life just because he's getting applause by man, and, but that he would really cry out to Jesus that his heart would, you know, um, completely be preaching about God, loving God, singing about God, that he is, Jesus is really worthy of all of our song, all of our attention every day. This isn't just like, all of us are called to really like give him everything. <laughs> it's just, that's just what it is. And so I just, uh, we just want to pray that for Justin Bieber and that um, he won't be deceived. And I don't know where his salvation is at, uh, but we want to, we want to, um, pray that it will be secure. It will be solid and secure. And the fruit of that will show forth. Alright. So, again, um, we got Kaya West. We got Jessica Simpson. And we got Justin Bieber. These people have in common that they have some definitely, definitely some roots in Christianity. Um, a lot of other stars we'll be praying for um, may not. Um, but they definitely do. So we're going to um, ask that the Lord would encounter them. And I will pray for him. Ephesians 1, um, um, verse 17, um, it says, um, well, verse 16 says, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you consistently, asking the Lord glorious. Father, the Lord Jesus Christ will give you spiritual wisdom and insight that you may grow in the knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be filled with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called his holy people who are rich in his glorious inheritance. So God, I just um, pray, Lord, that you will um, just encourage uh, first the, the warriors out there who are saying yes to even just praying for these people the next two weeks. Um, and Lord, I ask that you would um, fill us with just passion in your heart and even prophetic words for them. God, we ask, Lord, that you would break into their lives and that um, they would worship you with their whole hearts. You said, you said, love me with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, God. That really doesn't leave much for anything else. So we ask, Lord, that they would love you with all of their heart, soul, and minds, that you would give them power to change from their wicked ways, from their compromise, God, and completely be obedient to you, God. And uh, we thank you uh, for these ones that you love, that you died for, God, and that you desire intimacy, personal relationship with God. And Lord, we ask that the ways of the world and any demonic forces and strongholds in our hearts will be broken in Jesus' name. And Lord, that 
um, your light will shine through and you'll be brighter. We ask that you encounter them in dreams and visions. We ask that you would just send send Christians to them, send people with power to them, God, and they would maybe convert it and move upon their families um, and just make it hymn them in, God, till they have to say, cry out to you and say, and blessed is he, uh, blessed is Jesus, and we just bless your name. So, God, thank you uh, for this mission, and we bless your name, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Well, uh, bless you. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I pray that you actually take some time <laughs> to pray uh, for these individuals in your prayer time, or even just right now. Don't go anywhere. Just start praying right now so you don't forget about it. All right. Well, bless you. Peace.